Good evening everyone, I'm Adam Yellow Ocean, I'm playing some Star Wars Battlefront, and this is what I'm doing right now. to sample the breakfast offerings in the hotel. Oh yeah. Breakfast pizza. Mm. I finally got to meet Ava, the daughter of my friends Craig and China. I guess I've reached that point in my life where many of my friends are having kids. Being a dad has always been a life goal for me and being able to watch my friends be parents makes that feeling even stronger. Still, I need to make sure that I and any potential mother of my kids are emotionally and financially ready for that, which is not currently the case. But anyway, let's check out what's going on at VidCon. No one at the Hobby Kids Adventures booth. How am I supposed to learn what Hobby Kids Adventures is? Yeah. Ah. VidCon day three. I'm a sleepy peepy sheepy. Same. Breakfast champions. The final event at VidCon 10 was collecting all of the featured creators who were invited to the very first VidCon and parading them out on stage, which was an intensely strange experience. Amongst our group, conversations abounded regarding how much YouTube had changed in the last 10 years and how irrelevant many of us felt at a modern VidCon. More than anything, there was a feeling of camaraderie amongst the group. And even though we were out in front of the crowd, the energy of the tenure veterans was still largely focused inward. It was almost as if the crowd wasn't even there. There's probably some symbolism in there somewhere, but I'm tired. Well, oh, hi. we did it. Yeah, I... Oh, wow, this is a combo going. They can't see this, but uh, you're filming... I'm, I'm taking my pants off right now. And taking your pants off. It's, it's, it's about that time. Yep, the pantsless time? I just need to slip into something a little more comfortable. What are you making? Um, I am making some homemade Mickey Mouse ears, which are not complete, but, you know, getting there. They're, I just need to finish out the flowers, but then they have green on the back and then yeah they just I think all of the Mickey ears they make at Disney World are really boring and super expensive and so I'd rather make flowery ones of my own. I talked to a few other uh, of the 10 year creators and they all also seem to feel like this was going to be their last, last VidCon, yeah. even if they were to get invited back. Yeah. Do you feel the same? I guess unless there's some massive shift in the size of my audience, I just don't really see the point of me being here. There were so few people interested in seeing me. I know that I'm not doing anything to drive VidCon sales. So... If there's nothing that I can offer the company of VidCon, if there's nothing that I can offer the people coming to VidCon, if there's nothing that I can do to grow my audience at VidCon, it just kind of feels like, eh. 
Will you be sad if we never come to VidCon again? No. I, well... I guess the thing is, is like, this is all a form of pampering that I otherwise wouldn't get anyways. So like, it kind of always just feels like an extra bonus. Not something I expect. Like, you know. I'm happy to go hunt around the convention center and like find free things and like open up the goodie bags and stuff like that, but I, I mean it's nice to see you interact with people. Like I think we met a lot of really nice people this weekend and we spent time with some really genuine people, but other than that, like you said, it's just a big, huge Nickelodeon commercial brought to life. It's a lot of 12 year olds, a lot of kid stuff, and otherwise I agree where I don't feel like I have a place here. This is a very old man thing to say, but there were a good handful of youngins here that make me a little bit scared for the future, the future of our oh, youth. Oh no! What did you see? Like in the... I don't remember what lounge it was in, but there was some kid who looked like he was seven, who was clearly like popular, and busted out his phone and did that whole What's up, it's your boy so-and-so no. coming at you. Oh. And I was just like, oh, it hurts. oh no. Gross. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. I just can't imagine what that level of uh, fame does to a child. a child without proper adult uh, right? supervision, intervention. Yeah. There's a bunch of TikTok people here, which like is bizarre in a world I don't think either of us understand. I don't get TikTok. I mean, it's essentially Vine. VidCon used to be like the thing that I looked forward to every year. It was, it was the YouTube version of Christmas to look forward to year round. Yeah. And it's changed, and I've changed, and the community's changed. And it just feels so meh. Do you remember what VidCon it was? Like, was there a, a mile marker of like, huh, this doesn't feel like VidCon anymore. I'm pretty sure that every year for the last three years at least after VidCon, I've, I've said something in the vlog about feels like VidCon's changing. I'll be surprised if they invite me back next year. So VidCon 7 was the last good VidCon? I don't remember exactly. Yeah. The last three or four years probably felt questionable. Questionable. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>